Today we are going to discuss how to search for obituaries. Now this is a very extensive subject and we could discuss it for hours. So for today's purposes, we are only going to focus on searching for current obituaries. This means that we are only going to take a look at websites that continue to update their obituaries daily. There are many different places to find obituaries online, so it is important that you know the geographical location and time frame. The geographical location could be the place of birth, where that person lived, or their place of death. What you're looking for is any location that has significance in their lives. For the time frame, obviously it is best to know the exact date that the person passed away. However, if you are unsure, try to narrow it down to the exact year, then try to go a little further to the month and then the week if you can. If you only know the year, you will still be able to search for that person. However, you may have to go through pages of results to find the right obituary. If the person lived in a small community that did not have a local newspaper, check the nearest large city that has one. For example, the city of Fairfield, Ohio does not have a local newspaper anymore, so you would want to look at either the Hamilton Journal or the Cincinnati newspapers. Now there are a ton of websites online to choose from, especially local newspaper websites. But for our purposes today, we are only going to discuss a handful. Because once again, we could talk about this for a couple hours. If you need to find an obituary that is over 20 years old, that's when you're gonna have to use newspaper archives or local history resources. As you can see, the top four newspapers have links to legacy.com. Legacy.com is great, but it only covers newspapers that use that service. Lastly, funeral home websites are also a great resource to use. However, if the funeral home that had the obituary published goes out of business, it is likely that the obituary will be lost if it wasn't published in a newspaper. Because once that funeral home goes out of business, their website will probably be deleted as well, along with all the information they posted on there. There are a few ways to get to Legacy.com. If you want to go through a newspaper website, it will link you directly there. So we will go ahead and search for the Hamilton Journal News. And we can click right here. And then we will click on obituaries right here at the top. And this takes you directly to Legacy.com. So here we can look at the latest obituaries. We can view the obituaries by location, or over here we can search for a specific name. So first you can click on view all, and as you can see, as of right now, there are 246 total this week. And right here is today's date, and so this is how you can see all the obituaries that were posted today. So today there are two so far, and then it will go down to the previous day. We can also go back and do a view by location. So we'll click here. And this is if you wanted to see obituaries for a specific area. If you click on one of these locations, it's going to show you a list of obituaries that are in order by the person's last name. It's not by the obituary date. So if you see, if we click here at Beaver Creek, they're gonna be in order by the person's last name. We can also search by name, so we'll go back to the home page and do that. So we will just do a last name of Smith. And to read any obituary, all we have to do is just click on the view obituary by the person. Some of these records will also tell you the visitation dates and funeral services at the very bottom. Like right here, as you can see, visitation and funeral service. And if you don't find the obituary that you're looking for and you want it to go through a different newspaper, there are a couple ways to do it. One of them is you can go directly to the newspaper's website. 
So let's try Cincinnati Enquirer. And then we can click on obituaries at the top. And theirs is also powered by legacy.com, so it looks exactly the same. Or if you wanted to do an advanced search here, this is also where you can change the newspaper that you're searching through. Right now, as you can see, it says Cincinnati Enquirer right here. If you click on this drop down box, it will give you a list of all of the Ohio newspapers that subscribe to legacy.com. So we can either search through each of these individually, or if we go up at the very top, we can do all Ohio obituaries if you're just not sure where you would find the obituary. Another option, if you wanted to search outside of Ohio, uh, let's say you wanted to look through Kentucky, is just click this drop down arrow right by Ohio, and then click on the state you would like, and then that's gonna change the newspapers over here to Kentucky newspapers. So you can do that through any state. Once again, this is limited to the newspapers that subscribe to legacy.com. If you are searching and not finding anything, remember to look at the state range at the top. So you can search through the past three days, past seven days, two weeks, month, six months, year, through all time, and then we can do a specific date or a date range. So let's go to Ohio newspapers. All Ohio obituaries, last name, Smith. And we will do through the past six months. And here are all the results that fit that criteria. Now the last place we're going to talk about finding obituaries today is through different funeral home websites. So let's check out a few local ones. We will go to Zettler Funeral Home and you can just Google the names of all these to find the websites. All right, so you can either click the obituaries link right here or you can go to their homepage. And then obituaries is here off to the side. Now for the obituaries that are published on funeral home websites, the search features are not as nice as legacy.com. Like through here, you can filter by location, but you can't really filter by date. So you would have to go through all of these 71 pages possibly. And then we'll go to Paul R. Young Funeral Home next. And then obituaries is right here at the top as well. And then we can go to Brown, Dawson, Flick. And up here at the top, it says obituaries. So I just wanted to show you a couple of the funeral home websites, just so that you know what to look for when you get there, if you did want to look for obituaries on that website. And this concludes our brief overview of searching for obituaries. If you really needed to deep dive and go past 20 years back or so, that is really when you're probably going to have to get into Ancestry.com, newspaper archives, and other genealogy resources as well. We do have access to all of those resources if you did need to go further back. So you can always call one of your local libraries and we can help you from there.